what's up friends welcome back to drew tutorial and if you're new a special welcome to you now guys if you're currently running a windows 11 pc and you're having issues with the battery not charging then this is a perfect video for you because i'm going to show you how to fix battery not charging on your windows 11 laptop right so now guys the first thing you want to do is just simply click on the windows icon and you want to type cmd and you want to right click on this and run this as administrator and the first thing that you want to do is just run this command i'll be putting it within the description of this video it's basically power c f g space forward slash hibernate on right go ahead and hit enter there and then you simply want to type exit and it will close the window anyone you choose right now the next thing that you want to do guys is just simply go ahead and right click on this windows icon here and you want to go to task manager simple click on that and you want to find file explorer under the processes as you can see it is right here in the list you want to find the file explorer you want to right click on this and you want to simply do a restart this will take a moment or two and then you can go ahead and you can close this window now the next thing that you want to do is right click on the windows icon here and you want to click on run and you want to type services and go ahead and hit enter now guys the next thing that you want to do you want to simply click on the windows icon here and you want to simply type services and you will find the services so you can simply go ahead and click on that and this will open up services for you now you want to go ahead and click anywhere here and simply type w because you want to find the windows update service and here you can see towards the bottom here so you have windows update you want to simply right click on this and you want to go to properties and under general you want to ensure that startup type is set to automatic as you can see it is set to automatic for me but if it's not for you you want to ensure that it's set to automatic and you want to click apply and if it's currently running what you want to do is simply go ahead and restart the service as you can see once i click apply there it is not shown as run so you want to go ahead and you want to click start to run this service this will run the service for you and as I said, if it is showing that it's running, you can simply go ahead and you can click restart right here. Simply do that and it will restart the service. So you want to ensure that. Ensure it's on automatic and you want to stop and start the service or restart the service. Right? Simply as that. No. after you do that, guys, you want to go ahead and close this window. Now, the last thing that you want to do is right click on the Windows icon again and you want to go to Device Manager. Here on the device manager, you want to expand the batteries option and where you see the Microsoft AC adapter, you want to go ahead and you want to right click on this and you want to do an update driver. You want to select the option that says search automatically for drivers and you want to ensure that it is updating your driver automatically so you have the latest driver. Now after doing this, restart your computer. If this does not work guys, Next thing you want to do, you want to come back here on the device manager on the battery, Microsoft adapter, and you want to do an uninstall driver. Once you do the uninstall driver, go ahead, restart your computer, and this should in fact fix the issue for you. Now guys, I really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful, and if you do, go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're seeing the channel for the first time, welcome to Drew Tutorial. I'm Anjo, and I really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community. And also, so that you'll never miss out when I release another helpful tutorial just like this one. Thank you very much, and see you next time.